¿Sí? You want me to start? Is that what you're trying to say? Come on. No, sorry. Okay. Collins was just trying to ring me. <laughs> right, so we'll start. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this Heroes webinar. Um, we obviously uh, here um, going to be talking about uh, um, the next phase of Unpassive. Got some great speakers here. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to sort of kick off straight away. And I'm going to ask... Uh, Marty DeGarmo to uh, speak first and give his thoughts on where we are going on the next phase. So over to you, Marty. All right, all right, all right. I'm kind of a, you know, usually I'm on third or fourth, but anyway, that's okay. Um, I can say, I mean, what we know and what we heard As say and who, the way he was his appearance and how he was talking. Um, I mean, we, we went through some bad times. We don't know the scope. We have an idea. Some of the imagination is it's pretty bad. I think we're going to find that whatever imagination we have, it was worse than that. Um, but through all of it, he came back. And uh, he came back with a vengeance. No doubt about it. Um, it sounds like, it feels like, and watching him, that who he's working with now is uh, is the dream team. And if he's impressed, we should be happy with that. If Ash is impressed, we should be happy with that. Uh, and, and he said he feels 3,000% confidence of where we're going. And... I was blown away. I was happy because because he looked he looked happy. For me, it meant a lot that because none of us, no matter how bad it was, you know, we got family issues and all that, and we're, a lot of us are financially kicked. But all that said, none of us went through what he did, and a lot of what he went through had to do with bringing us with him. If he did it as a family thing and just himself and the family and maybe a few close friends, it wouldn't have been quite as uh, quite as hard. When I first heard that, that things really went south for him on his side, I was definitely upset. I was, uh, it bothered me a lot. I'm like, oh my gosh, what what else could happen? We we know that. There was all these roadblocks put up. But knowing how he's acting now and what, what he's saying, I'm glad it happened. But one thing is I don't think whoever was trying to run the ship during the last few years would have ever took us where we wanted to go. And thank God that, you know, even if we could limp along, it would have been a different animal if we were a four or five or six billion dollar company and the wrong people were part of the part of this journey. Where are we going? Uh, I felt for a long, long time, <clears throat> I've said this many times, and I know I repeat a lot, but I'm talking to different people, but for 20 years online, I was looking for the whole package. Even when I didn't know what the whole package was, uh, every time you learn something, you, as, as Bob Takusi would say, you find out something you didn't know. Uh, I didn't know I didn't know this. I didn't know I didn't know that. And that goes on and on and on and on. And I, I, we were given the golden, the golden goose, myself, Mike, and Dan. We could drive traffic. We could build teams. That was one of the major issues in working online. Uh, but something very important was missing. We couldn't bring anybody with us, ever. Maybe help one or two people, but other than that, no. And, and it makes sense because the industry is designed as a pyramid. From a regular business to a mine business, it's all a pyramid. It, it, it just is. There's two or three, two or three percent at the top drive the whole traffic for the whole company. In regular business, two or three at the top 
take in all the money from all the people below that are doing the work. But either way, it usually funnels into a very small percentage of people. And I thought, not everybody's nasty. None, not all the 2 or 3% are nasty people. I've met a lot of them. The system is rigged against it. You can't think everybody win when you're in an industry where it's designed that not everybody can win. It's just not going to happen. You can't change that that philosophy. And I was ignorant, and and myself, Mike and Dan thought, well, if we keep going, we could we'll be able to help. No, and, and you you can't. And and then I started hearing people. I worked with Red many years, off and on, and, and Peter. And we got in places where you got that that a boy, you know, and I'm watching it. And I had a little bit of a head start. And I'm hearing people saying, oh, to a lady or to a guy, you're doing great. Keep it up. But really, what he told this person is, you're doing great. And if you keep it up and you live to 790 years old, you're going to break even. And, and look, it, it was that bad. And I, I started hearing people say it. And when I'm looking at them say that, we're bringing in two or 300 people a day and we're not going to win because you bring in five and three quit. You know what a good marketer is online? He can bring people quicker than they quit. That's not a business. So all that time I'm looking for, I'm passive. I didn't know it. And every business I was in, Every one of them, and there's probably 50 of them. Shiny object, I went. Not not that I left one and went to the other. The one I was in folded and crashed and burned. And what happens when you're when you're a marketer of any kind, you build your brand to that company. So it takes you three months to get a half decent ad. You're you're building to that company, and the company's gone. One day. And I know people here know what I'm talking about. You, Part of you getting up in the morning is you got one eye open going, well, I hope the site's there when I click on it. Well, that's not a business and you can't, you can't get ahead. And, and this is going to lead up to what I want to say, but I'm just saying, so when, when I'm looking for this mythical business, no joke, it was mythical to me. Uh, it got to the point, like like you all know, I went to Mike and Dan and said, look, I don't know. I don't think there is a business. Okay. Hold on, we got a, a jam going on. I don't think there is uh, a business like that. So, and, and no doubt there was a, I was starting to get to the point I didn't mind keep flipping locks over and find out I didn't know I didn't know. But there was a point. I gotta meet these people. Hold on. Whoever keeps unmuted. Yeah, I've muted them. Oh, okay. Yeah, if they keep doing it, I would uh, do a drop kick. I'm just kidding. Um I just thought maybe, you know, how could it be that hard to just do the right thing and share more of the wealth as evenly as you can? Well, it was naive thinking. So I hear about on passive too, Mr. Uh, Peter Rogers. And I went to him because I trusted him. And, and I knew Red. Okay. Whoever has the controls, you might have to kick that person out. Um, so anyway, uh, I got in and I looked and I started to, that, that empty empty hole in, in, in me started to close because I go, wait a minute, this might be the unicorn that I was looking for. Yeah, I thought it wasn't real, but I'm starting to think maybe it is. Maybe there is a guy here that really wants to do the right thing. Of course, you don't know right away, so you, you move on. And But once we felt it was... What we are looking for, we put a little dome over ourselves and we took off. You guys know this story. That started the journey. And and I got to the point that I was no longer nervous if it's going to be there or not. I never had that in 20 years. Never, ever, ever had it. And every day, first time since I've been online, 
I'm not talking about 20 years before I got online. I was always looking for a way to build a business. I, don't, I didn't like working for people, although I did. I did okay. But I just thought if you could get into something where they they judge you by being loyal, you know, faithful, and you're willing to learn and do your percentage, everybody, that's the same opportunity for everyone. So we we get in, we learned it, we, and, and I I can I'm confessing today that whatever I felt, the good part of it. Because you know you're beat down so much, it got stronger and stronger and stronger every day, every month, every year, even with the bad things. And I thought, wow. So I got more into it. I got you start finding your lane. Uh, people went different. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You don't sit and talk to each other about it. I'm going to do this. Okay, you know the only time we talked about who's going to do what. Is when we wound up doing the the meetings, the corporate meetings, and that was just a handful. It's me, Red, Mike, uh, Susie, and that was because Ashby and who he is. I said, "What do you want us to do?" You know, kind of do what you do. Thank you for the instructions. But what did we do? We wound up. He knew when he said it, everybody's going to find their land. Nobody told anybody anything. I went back. Okay, here's what he said. And everybody's going, yeah, do what we do. Red goes, oh, I'll go to Q&A. No, no jokes. Everybody wound up going where they felt where they could make the biggest impact. Anyway, yeah, this is still going towards the journey. So now that we know, another, another year goes by, and the only thing that kept, that, that was bothering me is the more I, I started to know Mr. Mufara and what his plan was, the best of my ability, we got so in tune that was Mike Ellis was doing videos about Unpassive that didn't happen yet. No joke. And we didn't we didn't have an inside scoop. Yes, I know Mr. Mufara, but there was times in the beginning we didn't. But we were reading the picture. We're looking at this, all the puzzle pieces going. I chat with Mike and Dan, and Mike goes, I'm going to do this video. And you, you listen to it, and you go, that's a great video. If you do it, we're going to jail. And like, okay, so he'd throw it away and do it off for a day. But then he'd come back with a video that is a hope and a dream. And that's what we sold. I don't care what anybody else. We didn't have any tools. This goes for everybody here. When you told us your family, when you told your friends, 99% of the, the journey, we didn't have a product. We were selling a concept and a dream. And we built it up to a million four hundred thousand accounts. I know nobody owns one, or most people don't. So let's say there's eight hundred, seven hundred thousand people, founders with a couple of accounts. That's massive. Absolute massive. So as time went on, the the, the other dis, the other things that didn't feel right, and I'm talking for me personally, was here's a guy do or die and would bring up stuff to us on this date we're going to have this and i know i felt we will and sometimes we didn't you can see it in the space if people really listen i started to learn mufara language and i i could start to feel like he was let down now, we're going to find out this story later that I think that's why he took the ship again was something's not right. Something's not right. He gave a story one time of we go in, there's a, there's a product, and we have a demo. And the demo, there's one little chip missing, maybe the color or the font size. We're there. We're 99.9. We're gold. Can you fix this one thing? Yes. How long do you need? Give us a week. Okay. They go a week later. Now, remember, Ash is working around the clock, and he's shooting money out like a machine. <laughs> well, he comes back a week later, and they do a demo. It's worse 
than the original demo. He had already told us, even if he was told, you're going to have your new product the 15th of May. They told him probably, we'll have it to you May 1st. And he put that fudge in between. Like, I, I can't go by what I got to build a, because I don't want to lie to people. And the 15th of May, it never happened. And this happened a few times. All of you are here. You know what happened. We lived it. We're, we're going to understand. We're starting to understand why that happened. And, but anyways, as that happened, I still felt something's not right. When it gets right, whatever right, whatever it is that he, that's got to be fixed, I think we're going to be amazed. And it's starting to make sense now. When he comes into the webinars the last four, uh, since June, and if you're listening, do yourself a favor. Go to a webinar and listen to what he has to say. Don't go there with an agenda of what you want to hear. If you don't listen to what he's saying, you won't understand why he's saying what he's saying. If you put the webinars together, he's telling a story. In fact, he even got to the point, I got a few people out there that will explain to you what I meant. And, and we all heard the same thing. It's just you got to listen. And I started to hear the story of, I'm going to take the ship back. We're going off course. And I and I, I think because if people were as loyal to ass as ass is to the people, this would be amazing. But in some cases, it wasn't. And thank God when the door slammed in his face, ass did one thing that most humans fail on. Most people give themselves a way out, right? Think about the words. I'm going to try to quit smoking for my New Year's resolution. I'm going to try means I'm not doing it. I might not smoke for a week and kick the dog around a little bit, but I'm smoking. I'm going to try to do this. You can't try. What did I say to us? And it was powerful. And pe some people got it and some didn't. Do or die. He left himself no escape route. He didn't, he, he didn't leave a fire escape. He didn't leave a back door. He didn't leave nothing. And I thought when he said it, wow, that's powerful. And thank God. Because what happened to him with the government? What happened that we don't have all the, the story? I think when you get the story... Bring bring a tissue box because you're going to cry. I think it was as bad as you could think and maybe worse. And during all that and all the crap and all the smoke, here's what he still has. This better not happen. And that better not happen. People are going, I, uh, is he taking this? Is he taking that? All he's really doing is collecting and going here. If you believe that or think that, don't talk to me. You got a million people to talk to, go talk to them. I don't want to have a conversation with you. When I see something so clear and feel it from the bottom of my in my heart, I'm the wrong person to bring that up. Now, if you need encouragement, because I believe some of us are at different levels in the journey, and I don't mean by time. Not everybody has 12 hours a day to sit here and work, be in on passive like I do. So it's only common sense. People miss this and that and this and that. And, and, and it's my obligation. I'm, I'm talking for me, and I know a lot of you feel the same way, is take Bobby. Bobby missed a few things and get him, try to get him where you're at. Because you can live and have dreams vicariously through other people. For people to get where you are, you got to help them get there. They, they may not know. Don't assume he doesn't care. It's not about care. They're not sure what happened. They don't know. And we can do that. And a lot of you do that. That's why the core of this business is growing rapidly. That's why the, this company is so powerful. It's what happens no matter what happens, no matter what storm comes, whatever wind's blowing, we didn't move. Handful of us did, but that's okay. Who cares? Now we focus on let's help each other. If somebody wants help, there's a way to ask for it. If somebody wants to tell me he did this and she did that and you, they did it because of this, don't listen to that crap. 
tell them to go back to their family and go to plan B, which is sitting on the couch, retire at 65 with not enough money to live, and then die at 80. You could do that. I don't want that package. Everybody's heading there. The other day, I'm looking at people that actually live their dreams, 5%. Eight hundred eight billion people, 5% live their, actually could say at the end of their life, I did what I wanted. And it's not 15 cars and five houses all over the world. Not for me. I don't want to worry about money. And I want to be able to help people when I want to help them. Anyway, so as far as the journey, Ash built something from my experience that you could live the lifestyle of Tony Robbins or Ash Mufara or Steve Jobs, whatever. I mean, a, a life where you don't, the worries you were worried about, and for the first time, because most of you are from another country. We're all migrants. My great-great ancestors, all of our great ancestors came from Africa eventually. I don't belong here or belong there. This is where I live. This is where I grew up. This thing about long this and belong, no, belong crap. You are where you are because of the way things lined up. But the point is, I believe with all my heart, we're on a, we're on a course for dreams to come true. Ash is a dream catcher. And he's given the, the opportunity to have your dream. But you cannot walk forward and be the dream, the person to accept it, if you don't believe in you, you cannot give light to somebody else if you're a walking dark, dark entity inside. You have to believe who you are. You have to say what you mean. You have to care about others and you have to listen with empathy. And if you do that, people will follow you until they understand. They will follow you because he, he she has something. I don't know what the heck it is but I want it. Now, when we go to the next chapter in this journey, we're talking about this journey, the next chapter, you're going to walk through the doors and now you're living your dream. Is it, is it where you're going to be total? No. But when success hits you, five bucks in your wallet, 50 bucks in your wallet or 50,000 bucks, it comes in and then it comes in again bigger and it comes in again bigger. When you walk out, because you were a founder, you were here for the journey, and some of us, oh, I hate this journey. The day will come, you're going to say, oh, I'm so happy I took the journey. Because people will look at you and will ask, wait, how does Unpass it looks now? Oh, it's a, it's a pyramid. This guy's a scammer. They're out to get you. Uh, Marty DeGarmo is sucking the money out of you. By the way, if I am, I can't find out what I'm doing with it. And, you know, red's no good. Chris is a maniac. Well, that part's true. But no, you know what I'm saying? I That's all bull crap. Let, let that go. And the family telling you're nuts. I'm got, did you make any money yet? I'm not getting into that. They're getting in. We have 1,400,000 accounts. You don't think that three times the people said no that didn't? They're coming in. So we're automatically, automatically going to go to four or five million people. Just, just from what we created, Johnny Appleseed, drop a seed, you walk on. They're coming. Whether we, they like it, they don't like it, they're coming. I already know that. I don't talk to family about it. I don't have to. It's a waste. But when that door opens and we go into this new chapter and you realize that the toolkit that Ash gave you is made of gold. And you pull out one tool and it does multiple things for you. And in the morning, you set up or you tweak a, co a couple things and for 23 hours live the life you only dreamt of. That's the journey where we're going. That's what I believe. But you have to, we have to, I'm not saying it like that, we have to become ready for that. And how do you do that? Believe in yourself. Think you deserve it. Don't enter somewhere and talk like 
negative. And, and I don't mean negative saying something nasty. If you feed negative stuff in your head, it's really hard to accept the journey that I see, that I feel. So you got to work on you. First thing is you got two ears to listen. You want to be a so-called leader, be a servant. How do you do that? Listen with empathy, encourage, inspire. Let them know they deserve it. And eventually, that little kid, that old man, that that older woman becomes that little kid when when there was no boundaries. I want this, I want that, and you smile. Yeah, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, and life kicked us in the in the gut, and we said, "Well, that's not me. This is as good as it gets." On passive says, "This is not as good as it gets," and the journey can be something that you're thinking about right this minute. The numbers, the things you thought of while I was talking. Yes, you can have that. But you got to believe it. First, you got to believe in you and believe you deserve it. Stop looking at other people. I can't do this. I Stop, I can't. That's a bad word. I can't be a belly dancer. I'm going to admit it. I know all of you are thinking right now, oh, I thought he could. No, but it's not my desire. Get people's dreams. What, it, what do you want? And the only way you can realize what you want is when you build yourself enough where you, you dare to think of being what you want. People don't even think about it. But what do you think about that? Oh, that's not me. Why think about it? Why think about that new boat? Why think about getting another house? I'm content. You're not content. You have a wall. Knock the freaking wall down. Ash is telling you, go. Believe it, you can have it. Because you're 100% right every day. If you get up in the morning and say, I can't, guess what? You're right. You won't. You guarantee you won't. Give yourself no way out and push you as hard as you can. Step out of your comfort zone once. It's hard. Step out twice. Not quite as hard. Five, six times. You crave it like a drug. And while you're doing it, guess what? You're encouraging other people to do the same. What good is it to have the best CEO, the best man running the ship? You got the best quality. You're, you're the money. Stop talking about it. You're going to have more money you can dream of. Be the person that can accept all that, and you'll blow this thing off the map because we have everything we need. We have the whole seven course meal. Just eat. Anyway, I'm all done. Wow. Thank you, Marty. Thank you for sharing. That was fantastic. And, uh, you know, I. Uh, you know, I just want to say uh, I've known Marty now for about 10 years and uh, what he was saying in the beginning of uh, being in part of the uh, the shiny objects, these other things that, that we've been involved in. And, um, you know, I, I can remember Marty helping me in these other businesses. He's got a he's got a heart as, you know, his heart is as big as his head. He, he, he wants to go out and he wants to help people. And uh, I'm so proud of him as a friend. He's a good friend and, uh, you know, and what he shares with everybody with on passive is fantastic. It really helps everybody. And he's right in what he was saying about, you know, trying to get people to come out of their shells. You know, I, I'm I'm sort of a quiet, sort of shy individual person. I try and, you know, I do a lot of stuff in the background, as a lot of you know. But, uh, you know, I, for me to come on screen, I, it, 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 I do feel uncomfortable. And um, like Marty just said, you know, it, the more times you do it, Definitely, it obviously makes it a little bit easier. But um, thank you, Marty. That was great. I really love what you said there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move over to Red, uh, Red Red Fern, because um, obviously Red and Marty sort of together, and then we'll we'll go over to Gina after, and uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, Red, I'm going to open the mic up to you and uh, you. give us your thoughts on the, where you think we are actually going. Thanks very much, uh, Pete. Lovely to be here as always. Uh, Marty, fantastic as always, mate. You really are uh, an inspiration to so many people in On Passive. Uh, that's for sure. You you talk from the heart. Uh, you certainly speak as you see. And uh, you inspire so many of us, not only to take action, uh, but also to try our best in whatever we're doing. Uh, you actually are the person why I do videos uh, prior to this. Uh, you were the guy that said, 
there's something about you, Red. You should start doing some videos. <laughs> so uh, I started doing some videos and uh, here we are now. Anyway, let's get back to uh, on passive and uh, let's take you back to 360 of last week. And I always like to start off with when I'm talking about Ashmi Farrow, when we've seen him on the screen about what was he like? What did he look like? You know, uh, I mean, body language, mannerisms, whatever you want to call them, tell a lot about people, don't they? And no matter how much you try and mask them, there's always little tells. Uh, and I have to see, say, seeing uh, Ash on 360, there was no masking, was there? There was no uh, reading between the lines. He was one excited cookie, uh, that's for sure. He was literally jumping all over the place. And uh, why is this? And it is because of what he knows. If you remember back to what he said in previous webinars uh he now only tells us things that he knows is going to happen marty uh rightly explained he that during the journey of on passive he's been told many things that haven't transpired and i'm sure there's people saying well why did he tell us when it actually didn't happen well he wants to tell us because we're part of the journey guys you know every single person who've been here are as a founder for more than two years, uh, for me, six, and many other people here, we're all part of this journey. He wants to spread the good news. And if somebody's told him the good news, guess what he wants to do? He wants to tell his core of people, his friends. I mean, how many times have we seen him hanging out with all of us on four to six hour webinars? It's not just to bring us an update of on passive. It's because he actually likes hanging with us. We are his family we are his social scene and that's why in the past he has told us things because he has been told that himself now just imagine his frustration when they don't come to fruition he must be going oh my god i've told all these people it hasn't happened i feel like a right dumbass right now i they've they've got faith they've got trust in me i told them in good faith that it was going to be this and it hasn't happened I must look like a right idiot. But you know what? He also knows that we are accepted people. We understand that things in business don't always go to plan. And especially in a startup business like this, they don't always go to plan. We've been part of this journey as early adapters because we believed in the project, because we believed in what is going to be happening. Marty touched on this. None of us would still be here if we didn't think there's something about this, isn't there? There's something different. There's something that I need to stay here for. You know, you talk, you, you, you listen to people, they say we're all here for a reason and all the rest of it. Yeah, we might well be. I have no idea. But one thing I do know is that I believe that on passive really is going to make a huge difference to so many people. This is why I keep on pushing forward. I know because Ash has told us that within a few short days, and it could be tomorrow, could be the next day and all the rest of it, we are going to have access to the OES. Now, is the OES going to look exactly the same as before? I don't know. It might be tweaked. It might be changed. There might be things missing. But I know one thing for sure because of what we've been told. And remember, he only tells us what he knows right now. I know that my account that was in the OES before is still going to be the same. I know that when I open it up, my profile is going to be the same. All my information is going to be the same. My wallet is going to be the same. My organization is going to be the same because that data is all intact. And quite frankly, that's all I care about. I don't care if there might be a few tabs missing. I don't care if O mails in a different place or O trackers in a different place or O connects in a different place from where it is. I'm looking and the first place I'm going is profile wallet. And after that, do you know something? The rest of it, I'll navigate, get used to it, find my way around on all the rest of it. But it really is important for all of us to have access to the OES again. Why? Because there's going to be a lot of information coming our way very very shortly 
we've heard that this opening of the doors to OES is only the very beginning. It's not even the next phase. This is just us having access back to our accounts, like he promised. The next phase is only round the corner. Now, what is this next phase going to be? Hands up, I have no idea. But when you've got the CEO telling us you're going to be so excited. It's going to be the best thing you've ever seen. It's better than it was before. We're on the right track. We have the right team. The right people are in place who have got the same vision as I have. You know, he's told us many a time that we got off track. I think we'll all agree that there were things that were happening within on passive that a lot of us thought, why are they doing that? We don't really need that at the moment. What we need is this sorted first and then we can go on to that afterwards i think there was a little bit of this going on and ash rightly so said right enough's enough i'm taking back over the reins i want on passive to be going in the direction that i want it to be going in not spurs and other bits and pieces i built on passive for this reason we could do all that a lot later right but the main reason is to be given all of us Every single one of us who is on here now listening to this in the future, a really good opportunity to be able to make some money online in a good, clean, ethical way with a company that has a heart for humanity. And it is such easy, simple business. We've got products and services. You own them. You resell them. You make commissions. In between all that, guess what? You can invite people. You can help people. You can make a difference. We're going to have all sorts of other tools and uh, platforms where we will be able to make a huge difference. And this is really why I think on passive has stayed the test of time the last six years. I know many people who have branched off, should I call it, into other areas. They don't stay there long, do they? Why? Because as Marty said, they wake up one morning, boom, it's gone. Now, I'd rather stick around here and on passive on this journey, knowing damn well that my reputation is still intact. Yes, people call me crazy because nothing's happened with on passive. Yes, yet because we haven't made any money yet. But I still believe in the journey. Yes, on passive still here. But I'd much rather be that person than some of the other individuals who go off and guess what? They get a few people in, everybody loses their money, they go quiet for a bit, rear their heads again, next best thing since sliced bread, everybody puts their money in, everybody loses their money again, and it goes on that cycle. But every single time it happens, guess what happens to that person's reputation? Gets less, 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 less. Nobody believes them, nobody trusts them, and it all dries up and they end. I know my reputation is intact. Like I said, people call me crazy. People say, I don't understand why you're doing it. I actually don't need you to understand why I'm doing it. I can see what I can see. You might not see it. That's entirely up to you. But to say I'm crazy, that's just your opinion. I know probably another half a million people who don't think I'm crazy. And guess what? There's going to be an awful lot of people in the future who are going to say, wow, wow, when they hear your journey, when they hear what you went through and stayed the course, brushed them off. No, no, no. This is it. This is the one for me. You can't see what I see. You're just a cult. No, I'm not. I just believe in something. That's all it is. And that's why I stayed, of course, because I know what is coming. Same as Marty, same as all of you here. Anyway, that's it for me. Back to you, Pete. Thank you, Red. Well, it's the question and the answer guy. And one thing about Red, he tells you how it is. You know, he listens, he breaks it down, and he tells you in plain English how it is and how it's going to happen. And he makes it, he makes it so understandable for everybody. I mean, I, I was chatting to Red this morning and uh, we were talking about the old days, what we used to do and what we're looking forward to doing with on passive in the future. And um, yeah, so it was what Marty was saying earlier on and what Reg just said, we were, you know, the conversation was along those lines, what we were talking about this morning. 
Anyway, we're going to move across. We'll move across to Jean Oliva, and I, hopefully she she can enlighten us with a nice. Uh, she's always got something good to say. I always feel so. Over to you, Gina, and then we'll comfort. I, I want to put you on next, so be ready. <laughs> okay, Gina. Thank you so much, Peter, and thank you, Red and and Marty, for your always great shares. Uh, when I was thinking about the topic today, the journey to the next phase, it immediately made me think of a phrase. So here we are, we're in a state of high anticipation, waiting for that next step, that next thing that's happening. And there's a phrase in the U.S. called waiting for the other shoe to drop. And some that the origin of that phrase is really, it's, it, it can be, it's waiting for something that's inevitable. It's It originated from people dropping, taking off their shoes at night and dropping them on the floor and waiting for the next one to drop was that next inevitable thing. And so it could be sort of looked at as a negative thing, like a worry, waiting for that next thing, right? But in this case, because we're on passive and we do everything differently, right? That waiting is in anticipation of something good. And the great thing that's comforting about it is that we know that there is a shoe and like the OES, we know there's a shoe. It's on a foot, which is the website. We know it's on a leg, a very strong leg, which is the business, the company of on passive. And that leg is on a very healthy body, which is the vision of Ash Mufara, and it's built on love. So we have this, instead of something waiting for that other shoe to drop, instead of it being a negative thing or a worrisome thing, it is this positive anticipation of something glorious. And that's a pretty good position to be in, if you ask me. And so the key is, what are we going to be doing when that shoe touches down? When it touches the ground and we hit that next phase, we go into that the, the next steps of on passive. And I could not possibly say it any better than what Janet Butler said yesterday on OTEC Pros when she was talking about the three Ps. She talked about a lot of P words. And in this case, the ones that struck me were passion, peace, and prosperity. So when that shoe touches down, we can get started on our passion projects, and then we can keep peace in our hearts and balance in our lives and then the prosperity will follow so for me when that shoe touches down we take that next step we go into the next phase we need to ask ourselves what are we going to be doing what's our first step for me it's going to be activating those those things that are my passion you know obviously taking care of our families but what it, what are the next steps that we could be taking that's because when we act with passion it's going to bring energy and joy to our lives, which is going to fuel the the, the rest of a, a, a very fulfilling life, which is what Ash is hoping for all of us. So that's what I wanted to say today. We're waiting for the other shoe to drop. It's a really positive, positive next step and very, very exciting. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Gina. That was great. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing. Um, so uh, obviously, Gina, she there's some fantastic posts herself that you know that she puts about as well which i'll, I'll read and obviously i appreciate what you do for on passive it's brilliant and uh so it's great uh to, so we're going to pass over to comfort now and uh she's obviously going to share her thoughts about where we're where we're heading and what we're all looking forward and the excitement that's going to happen soon so over to you comfort all right thank you thanks pete uh gene i like the, the uh, analogy of the the other shoe we're waiting for and how you put it is so neat and sounds really good. So, uh, you know, I was when I, the topic today came, the journey to the next phase, so many, many, many things came to mind. And I just want to start by quoting my brother here, Engineer Mike, who says, who asks every day, are you ready? And so I'm going to, this is going to take me places. Don't blame me. This is how I feel right now because when you listen from where Marty started to where Red connected to, to Jean and what we've been hearing people say every day throughout the week, uh, sometimes I, I'm just asking a question. Are you really ready? And if you are, what is your attitude? How are you waiting to pop into this next phase? We have been through phases. We've been through stages. And the truth here is 
through these stages who have gone through thick and thin just because we watch it or we see the people who really literally go through it come and tell also share a tiny bit that we're stuck here we're stuck there because they see old things that he needs to let us know but then i'm worried sometimes because um so I want, people some people are sometimes become from messages you re receive from fellow founders from phone calls from discussions you have with people, sometimes people get forget themselves and get a bit entitled. You get entitled such that uh, I just want to remind you that all of these things, as Oliver will put it, Ash is bearing the risk on your behalf. He is taking, he's bearing the burden, he's taking the pain and all of those things. And all I am waiting for is for the fine breed, the one that is just ready to pick up and start biting, right? So when you, you you think that, so one thing we need to remind ourselves of, of if your name is Marty Degamo, if your name is Oliver Fonte or the Old Tech Pro, if your name is Andy Burks, if your name is Comfort Confront, many, many other people, you were not employed to do on passive. You were not approached to say, go out there and talk to people about on passive. You just picked personally, I started talking about on passive because I was selfish. I thought that truly, if this is what it's going to be, then my people need to know about this. That's why the very first video, you go down to video number one, this is where on 1400, it is in Pigeon because I was conveying this message to my people. Nobody employed me to do it. So I am not entitled, you know, like I deserve everything. I need to be praised. I need to be thanked or stuff like that because whether I did it or not, this business was still going to go on. So if we think like that, the attitude would be different. And if we think like that, then we would be able to support Ash even more and even better. Because where we are now, we know a few stories. We know in the days of old bless when we're waiting with all the anxiousness to see it and so on, just the last minute Ash comes back and say, oh, he failed us. All of those stages, like others that are uh, Marty listed, like what we know, what we're going through now. What does he, what is he going through? If you think like that, you will not think that I am doing something that the other person is not doing. Sometimes we get it wrong because you see comfort every day. You think that she's the best in unpassive and stuff like that. But no, the real people who do the real thing, they don't have time to sit on video and say stuff. Not that I'm not appreciative, but then I appreciate every effort. But then if we do it with that attitude of gratitude, that I am just doing my bit to give this moral support to the CEO, we will land and land really safely. We will land big. And this dream will see its logical destination because the mission here is not money, as we know. The mission is shedding light to the dark parts of the world, to people who know nothing but tears and pain and stuff like that. Attitude of gratitude. If you think, you know what you do, you know what you think. And if you think that you're thinking wrong, you know it. Let's prepare ourselves. Let's get ready so that we get into this new phase and just take off. My shoes are ready. I will go places because I'm ready for it. That's just all I want now, you know. So the, the, so much, so, 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 so much is happening. So why are we ready? If, whether you, if you think that you are ready, you know, uh, think about the toolbox as Marty de Gama would put it. He has gone through all of those things. He has an imagination of what this toolbox is going to look like. We all do because we've been in the OES. This toolbox will come here. They put it here on the floor. It's life-changing. It's life-changing in that people have started businesses. They are not going anywhere because they don't have the means. If it's to optimize your business, you have all the tools. If it's to start a new business, you have all the tools. If it's just traveling and seeing the whole world, you have everything that will make it possible. If it's about changing lives, if it's about just living a good life for yourself and not caring for the neighbors because the rest could take care of themselves, we have everything in there. And how much did you get this business for? For nothing. So the thank you is just what we need. Attitude of gratitude. What is Ash going through? When he's coming with the excitement to, ex to, to announce the bomb and then they tell you that boss, you can't do it because we are not ready. After he has told us to be ready, because that is what I think. And is that what you think? If that's not, then get ready. Prove to yourself that you're ready to get into this next phase by starting to think 
Because if you ask, what does he go through through the night? Because sometimes I, I, I'm afraid, I, I get really worried when I'm not the person, I'm not the person who, who is in charge. So I'm just thinking like, what is he going through when he goes through all of these stages? You know, so let's, let's, let's do this because I know we can do it. We know what's waiting for us. That's what, why we are here. All of us have been called crazy people like Red has been called any other person. So all of us, a million and something, we also call uh, my, um, the CEO a crazy person. So who is bearing the weight? The answer to this is just thank you, Ash. You are doing a good job. You don't have to say anything anyway. Just stay if you don't have anything much to say because if you think that you have not gotten anything, you or if we, we are to sit down and do checks and balances, some of us would think that we owe a balance to give back to on passive as a company because I have learned a lot. I have some self-confidence. I have the social capital that I have built from here can take me places. Nobody can take that from me. You cannot buy that for money. I'm not sure why I'm saying this, and I hope that it makes sense, but then I just think that we just want to say thank you and then rethink what we have in mind and get ready to pop into the new phase because it's going to be explosive. Thank you, guys. Well put. Well, what can I say? You can tell the passion in your voice. You're, you're on, on passive and through and through. I mean, I, I've, I met Comfort at the last couple of venues we had at the UK, and she's such a lovely lady, and uh, she shares our passion all the time, even when she's on doing her YouTube channels. And you know, as I said, with a passion for on passive is, you know, words can't explain the passion that she's got for it. Well done, Comfort. Thank you. Um, I'm going to bring it across to Andy uh, Burks, and then Collins, if you're uh, available, we want to bring you on after uh, Mr. Burks. And uh, so over to you, Andy. Thank, thank you, thank you, Peter. And and um, oh my God, I've got to follow that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. Marty talked about a seven course meal. And I like talking about food, so I think this is a good place to start. But I think there are various courses, should we say, um, in this journey that we're going through. And, and there are several important aspects that I believe we should consider. The business is the first part of that. Now, um, Marty explained earlier that, that we've got everything in, our, in this toolbox, but let me give you an indication of, of my thoughts on what he means, because everyone looks at it slightly differently. I, I as you all know, I've dealt with figures all my life because that was the only thing I could really do. Being dyslexic as a kid, numbers were great. I could understand those, couldn't do words. Worked through that, I have to say, but but the whole point being that there is there are aspects to any business I don't know how to do. I can't do. No, that's the wrong word. I haven't yet learned how to do. Okay? Um but I'm learning every day. Now, the the thing is, I'm not getting any younger. So at the end of the day, by the time I finished, Marty said I'd probably be 780 odd um, <laughs> to learning about marketing. I think he's probably right. The, the marketing is a minefield. And so far, many of us have spent thousands just trying to get on that ladder, as it were, or, or you know, find others that are as passionate about this as we were when we first started. So this business has various aspects to it that I don't understand yet how to do. That hinders progress. So when you've got a business that does the bits that you don't currently know how to, that's a plus. That's one. Yeah, so this is, this is important. The second aspect or the second course, if you like, is finding someone that you can follow, that inspires you. Why do they inspire? Is it because of their manner? Are they good at their job? Um, do they want to help humanity? Well, those three questions are a yes, yes, yes with our CEO. We have a man 
And let's face it, 99% of the people here, or 99.9% of the people here, would have given up a long time ago. Red has mentioned he's been in six years. Ash Mufara, as Marty said, has not given himself an out. It's not, uh, well, perhaps I'll have a go, because that's the wrong attitude anyway. He said, do it or die. So you have an inspirational figure that we can follow. Now, what's the point in following a loser? None. What's the, the, the point in following a leader? He knows what he's talking about. He knows how to do the business and he knows what he's doing so if that's the case i want to know too please that's part of the journey that we've been on and i'll tell you what um uh like a lot of guys here i have learned a hell of a lot in this last five years uh, it, and i'm out of my comfort zone every day you know it's not mm. But, okay, so what do we need? The next course of the meal, if you like, is to be able to provide our CEO with support. Yeah, we support him in what he's doing. We support the fact that we've had some issues. The company has had some issues. He's realized what they are. He's dealing with them. When you've got a company of this size and with what they are trying to achieve, do you really think that those... Other large companies out there are not going to go, hold on a second, we don't like this. We're going to find a way of creating problems so that they can't get to our level. That's what happens in business, unfortunately. Now, that's not the way business should be entered into, I grant you. And this is another reason why I follow Mr. Mafara, because he believes the right way of doing business is on a handshake. My word is my bond. I've always agreed with that and been ripped off left, right and centre. But in this particular instance, you've got a CEO who wants to help us. We are all part of this journey and he knows all of us. It's great. Fantastic. So what do you really, really want? What do you really want in this life? Do you want to have success? Do you want to have achievement? And if you haven't written down those things, what the hell are you doing here? You should have written all of these down a long time ago. This is comfort. What are the words? Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Poor performance. Yeah, I'll there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. There are a few extra P's in there, but I won't, I won't quote those today. We're in um, the company of ladies. Okay, and the final thing I want to leave you on is... A negative thought takes 48 hours to balance itself back to a positive situation. Now, if that's the case and you're constantly living in a negative mindset, you're never going to get into a positive mindset. So what's the point? You might as well give up now. I'm sure that there are places out there you can go and buy a gun. <laughs> but we're not there. We are in the positive mindset. We're all in the positive mindset and we want this to succeed. We will make this succeed. And Ash Mufara is our leader and will um, not stop until he has succeeded. Thank you. Peter, back to you. Thank you, Andy. Again, your inspiration. Again, as I said, you know, you everybody likes you. You've got that, uh, you know, you're, you're not shy. You, you do really well. And, uh, you know, you, you come out with some really good stuff and it's it's, it's a pr privilege to know you. So I'm going to, I really want to sort of get back on track a bit as well about where the business is going. So I'm going to pass it over now to uh, Collins, Collins Manor, and uh, he'll get us back on track and uh, we can, uh, you know, we go Collins. Yeah. Thank you, uh, um, Peter, for hosting us today, you know, coordinating. It's really great. I just want to thank Marie Digamo, Red. You know, Andy, Jean, honestly, you guys have just said everything. And I know there are still more to come, you know, in different shape or form. So today I was just thinking about, you know, the topic. I look at the topic, the next, the journey to the next phase, you know, and it really touches me in a special way because I was looking at my journey in Unpassy. I know everybody has their own story in Unpassy. Those who came two years ago, Two years before the founding member position shut down, 
and people like Red who have been here for six years. So I look at their story like Peter Rogers as well, Maddie Digamo, you know, all of those people, they told us the story. Some, they listened to the tape. We we're not privileged to listen to that tape. But when the CEO came out and talked about spreadsheet, I was really, really amazed about spreadsheet. Who would even believe someone giving you a tape and telling you, pay this amount of money and I'll put your name on the spreadsheet? I would not even believe. I would tell, maybe Comfort come to me, I'll tell Comfort, go and try. When it works, come back to me. You know, and I will believe you. You are somewhere, somewhere far in the US and you're telling someone in Africa, put your name on the spreadsheet. Someone, we're talking about something that is so great because you, know, you can see it as little as possible. Pay this $97, which is just a token. We know that it's a token, but for them, it's a big, something big. But I'm talking about the belief in someone, having faith and trust in someone. You know, I look at when Jesus called the disciples, you know, go back to the Bible. They came and followed him by belief. There was nothing on him to show that, that majesty. Because we believe people who dress in fine cloth, in royal places. That's our belief as human. Whether we like it or not, it's true. You want someone, even I've been to Cameroon. I was only short. They pushed me away. But they accessed someone with suit out of nothing. When they realized that my own cousin was working in that bank as the, 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 the manager, they called me in. The security guard pushed me away from the United Kingdom. So we always appreciate people dressing in something but let us remember that anything that is beautiful there is no majesty there is no beauty in it but they tell as isaiah said they will take their root from dry ground and they will blossom like on passive they grow they spread their tentacles but what happened when people will realize it that's when they start to see the beauty but only those, I always said, that has been chosen by heart and by faith, joined the company. They never saw any product. There was nothing, no product. Spreadsheet. And then it goes to what? Go, go Founder. We joined when it was time for Go Founder. We saw a website. These people never saw any, they never see any website. We moved from Go Founder, the transition to what? To O Founder. O Founder, I said there will be minimum value product. We saw it. You know, and we look at it, we play with it. We say, wow, this is really good. And that is how the transition of IT companies will start. When they want to build a product, they call it baseline product. A product that is testable and proven and say, yes, we can do it. That is true. Those who are in IT, even if you listen to this video, quote me if I'm lying. There's a baseline product. If you want to build something, you start with a test product and say, okay, this is it. Can we build on this baseline and grow up with it? And people start to give their idea, share their idea. And that's how I started. They brought the website. They transitioned us to, to go founder. They build the baseline product. We know, we know how many people can remember. We are not calling it O-Connect, but there was, there was a name for O-Connect. We know O-Mail. We had all the other products before the name changes and this, but that was the baseline for us, the founder, to play and say, yes, this is possible. They can achieve this. But sometimes, most of the time, we founders will lose sight, thinking like we are the one to use this product and bring revenue to the company. No, it's a big lie. 5.5 billion internet users are there. And almost build his company on his own. He never put the money in it. People buy Tesla and they brought money into it. We are consumers. Customers are coming in their numbers for this product. Whether we like it or not, like Maddie said, you can choose to be in or choose to be out. Then one day you become a user of this product. You will pay for it and use it, whether you like it or not. That is the simple fact. We move from Go Founder to work, from O Founder to where? To OES. We saw full blown products. People pay for it. Not only the founders. We don't know. That's my opinion now. We don't know how many customers pay for ONET and they use it before we had this, this problem. Mr. Ash will probably explain. Maybe they have moved back to Zoom, but be, behold, they will come back because they use it for one year without paying anything. 
they run their business. We founders will pay for it. These are the people who are supposed to bring a lot of money in because they'll be paying in and out. They are, not, they are not in because they want to make a dime. They are in because they want to use, utilize this product to enhance their, 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 their business. That's the truth. But now from all founder, we are going to where? We are moving now to the next phase from, from all years. And the, all, the, 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 the next phase will be as beautiful. If we can see all founder and none of us here can say all connect was not good, great. None of us here, those who have used it, can say all trim wasn't great. If we can appreciate it, think for yourself what will be the next phase. Let us think for ourselves. Mr. Ash Mofara is not giving up. You know, we only have to do our part. Like Comfort says something. We are here just to give the message. It's not because I'm great or I'm, I've done something marvelous and I need appreciation. No. I will go back to Biblica, 1 Corinthians 3, 6. It says what? There's something they ask Paul. The person who plants and the person who water, who have done more job. Look at it in Corinthians. Corinthians, those who read the Bible, they go to church. Corinthians 3, verse 6. It says it. They came to Paul. Paul said, none of you have done anything. Only God will ensure that that plant will grow. God has ensured that on passive will flourish. Even Miss Ashbrook doesn't have control over it again until God said, this is it. That will be the end. I believe because I know God's hand is in on passive. Because with what has happened, if it was just normal human being, on passive would disappear and Ash would say, I'm done. But because there is a supernatural power from God that is holding it from the foundation that it was built, it is standing strong. Twist and turn will come. Hard time will come. We always said, why bad things will happen to good people? You've never heard that bad thing happen to bad people. It always go to good. And if it's not Mr. Ash Mufarad, who else? You know, we will carry our load because from the day you were born, you know, your, day, your, your days were already ordained by God. You know, ordained. You will have difficult times, but it will still bring you to the right track. And this is what is happening on passive. There will be twists and turn. They will still flourish and we will blow up like never before. So this is what I want to share, Peter. I just want to thank you for hosting us. Thank uh, you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. So, you know, you're talking about that, you know, about the journey. And, uh, you know, I can remember every part of what you were just speaking about. I can remember about the spreadsheets. I mean, <laughs> you know, I remember having the, I, I paid, I think it was by Bitcoin in those days. I paid by Bitcoin and, uh, all I got was a receipt. I didn't get nothing else. I just paid the money across. And that's how it was in those days. And obviously what we've seen up till now is just a completely different business altogether. Anyway, uh, I want what I want to do now is I want to, um, Francine, my friend, I want to bring her in. And she, I think she uh, speaks the French and obviously wants to um, let it out, let the French people listen in and give them what we're talking about. And uh, so... Over to you, Francine, and then uh, from Francine, uh, I should bring Vincent in. Okay. Francine, you're muted. Merci, merci, bonsoir à tout le monde. J'ai été un peu absente, donc euh, je me suis éloignée de la réunion. Je n'ai pas eu l'occasion de prendre euh, toutes les notes. Donc, euh, Aujourd'hui, nous avons abordé le thème sur notre voyage avec une passive et la suite du voyage. Donc, comme nous avons vu avec notre PDG qui nous a dit que le voyage allait aborder une nouvelle phase, nous sommes en train de partager les uns et les autres notre sentiment par rapport à cela. On a ouvert la séance avec Marty Digarmo qui nous a rappelé son parcours que nous commençons à connaître un peu. Mais aujourd'hui, Marty Digarmo a tenu à insister que euh, H n'est pas en train d'essayer. H est en train réellement de se donner, de donner de lui-même dans cette compagnie de On Passive. Pour lui, c'est une question de délivrer ou une question, comme on dit en français, de vie ou de mort. 
Donc, H est réellement engagé dans ce qu'il est en train de nous offrir, quel que soit ce qui se passe, nous devons continuer à bouger, bouger de l'avant. H a bâti quelque chose et nous pouvons adopter tous les styles que nous voulons à partir de la richesse qui sortira de On Passé. Madame Jeanne Aleva nous a reparlé du voyage que nous sommes en train de faire pour l'étape suivante et euh, elle a donné une comparaison à une chaussure. Il y a une expression anglaise qui dit que euh, il faut attendre que la deuxième chaussure tombe. Donc l'étape à laquelle nous sommes aujourd'hui, c'est l'étape où notre pied est sérieusement en train d'attendre que la chaussure tombe. Nous sommes bien accrochés à une machine qui est solide, qui s'appelle On Passive. Euh, on Passive est très puissant et sa question à Anna Leva quand elle termine c'est de nous dire, est-ce que nous sommes réellement prêts Parce que quand la chaussure va tomber, comment allons-nous poser le pied Et nous devons à chaque instant, et surtout à l'étape où nous sommes, nous poser la question, est-ce que nous sommes réellement prêts Que ferons-nous Donc, euh, nous devons y mettre notre passion, et elle nous a rappelé euh, des points très importants qui sont... Euh, la passion, la paix et la prospérité. Ces trois éléments qui fonctionnent ensemble, ces trois P-là. On l'a déjà entendu au cours d'une autre réunion que nous avons eue hier. Donc, après cela, Confort a vraiment continué dans la même lancée en nous rappelant cette question d'être prêt qui nous a bien souvent été posée par Mike, euh, ingénieur Mike. Donc, nous ne devons pas être sans cesse à poser la question « qu'est-ce qui se passe Pourquoi ceci Pourquoi cela ?» Ceci est très épuisant et ça peut être euh, décourageant pour certains. Posons-nous plutôt la question « est-ce que nous-mêmes, nous sommes prêts quand la machine va lancer ?» Donc, euh, elle a dit quelque chose de très intéressant qui est ceci. « Personne ne nous a démarché pour... » pour entrer dans On Passive en tant que salarié ou employé. Nous sommes venus dans On Passive parce que nous y avons ressenti l'appel. Ne l'oublions jamais, car si nous sommes fatigués, nous pouvons également décider de ne pas euh, continuer, d'autant plus que H. Moufaré est le seul qui porte le poids de la compagnie. Tout ce qui se passe dans les coulisses, il est le seul et avec beaucoup de... De, de sincérité, beaucoup de force, et nous tous, nous ne reposons que sur H. Moufaré. Donc, euh, notre adhésion était volontaire et nous comprenons que euh, personne ne nous doit rien. Personne ne nous doit rien. Donc, notre attitude devrait être plus de la gratitude que des attentes qui peuvent s'avérer se, se, infondées. Pensons à notre boîte à outils, comme l'a souvent dit Marty Digarmo. Si nous sommes vraiment prêts, nous devons avoir les différents outils qui vont nous aider pour réaliser notre chemin au cœur de On Passive. Ensuite, Andy a pris la parole pour redire la même chose quasiment. Et il a dit que nous sommes en phase d'apprentissage perpétuel. C'est-à-dire qu'il y a beaucoup de choses qu'il ne connaissait pas, qu'il ne comprenait pas quand il est entré dans mon passif. Et aujourd'hui, il a appris énormément. Et euh, nous devons suivre les personnes qui nous inspirent. H. Moufar est notre CEO et quelqu'un de très inspirant. Inspirant dans le sens de la positivité. Et notre soutien à ce qu'il fait est plus qu'important et impératif. Donc, il dit qu'il suit H. Moufaré parce que H. Moufaré nous connaît. Il nous connaît chacun de nous et euh, il sait exactement où il est en train d'aller. Notre attitude psychologique doit être toujours tournée sur le positif. Et Colin s'est revenu également. En, en appuyant là-dessus, mais je regrette, j'ai eu un empêchement autour de moi qui m'a fait sortir, mais de façon globale et de façon générale, 
euh, la réunion va dans le sens de dire nous gardons un aspect positif, nous prenons les éléments qu'il faut qui vont nous permettre de faire la prochaine étape et d'aller vers le succès, chacun d'entre nous. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Francie. I don't speak French, but obviously what you've told them sounds really good to me. So thank you very much and th thanks for sharing. Um, Vincent, I'm going to bring you on and then we'll have Ivy Mix and uh, Marty on and after. If, if, uh, okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for this great webinar. It is a, a good pleasure for me today to be here. Happy Sunday to everyone, those who are everyone here and those who are listening to us. So thank you again. Thanks all the speakers from Marty to Collins. Thanks all of you for this great speech this uh, evening. Um, also thanks to Francine for this uh, translation to French. Yeah, it was a great one. Yeah, so thank you very much. Yeah, it touched my heart as well. <laughs> thank you. So I know you all said it. So today I don't have much to say because after listening to Marty, Gina Liva, Collins, Comfort, what can I say? <laughs> Nothing. So all I would like to add to this evening is to say that we should stay focused and listen to our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara. He's the leader, he's the man, this is the vision of the man we are all following up. So we should stop listening left and right from negative people, we should always focus and we should always be positive for what we are doing. With a positive mindset, you can even move a, a mountain. But with a negative mindset, even to go to, to work and to go to your bedroom, you can't do it. So please, we should all be one, praying together for our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, because he's doing a great job. What Mr. Ash is doing for us, I know so many of us at the moment, they don't know, but he's doing a lot. I know that some people are waiting desperately for money, but the money will come. What is coming is greater than what we maybe were expecting. So we should always yeah. think positive, pray for the man, for that great job that he's doing. Yeah, I know personally, and then I believe, and then I trust for the great job that he's doing for us, because... What he's doing is what we are doing right now because the, the world today, yeah, we are all moving to digital world. And then he's working in that aspect as well for us to be in our present because the world now, our present today is the digital world. So that's where Mr. Ash is leading us to. This is where he's putting us to because there are all, so many, a band of this uh, competition outside there. So if the man, is not building something that he can stand up with the competition outside there, where we could be superior than them. He can spend so many time, and then at the end of the day, we say, oh, this is rubbish, it's not a great product. So we need to give him a time to build a great product, a product, those products that they can stand out with the super, I mean, the super superior than other products there. So that when people see it, they will run away, they will run to get it. They will take it everywhere. Like uh, one of my friends said, people will even, they will take it to preach in the church, everywhere. So it's not something easy the way we think it is. So we should always be patient and then uh, wait for the great job that Mr. Ashmo Farah is doing for us. I believe that he will deliver this great job soon. So that's why he's talking about the next phase. We should all be patient and then wait. And then I believe this thing will be done very soon. And then we'll be all happy. Because even it will be more than our expectation. That's what my truth, because I know what is coming is bigger than us. So we should all pray for him, be with him, and then try not to be negative. We should always be positive. Because negative, it will lead you to negative way. But we, if you are positive, you, you, you bring also prosperity. So let's be all positive. Pray for Mr. Ash so that the prosperity is in front of us. And then it's not far from us. It's just a few miles away. It's not that longer. So we are nearly there to the end of the tunnel. So let's pray again. Let's all be together 
and then we'll be all happy very sooner. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, I to totally agree with what you just said there. I think, you know, once the products start to, come to be available in the OES, once we get the OES and the products are there, we are going forward in a big, big way. And that, that you know, I agree with what you said. So, Ivy, I'd like to bring you in, Ivy Mix, and uh, Marcian, uh, Marcian, if you want to speak afterwards, and then Engineer Mike, if we can have a few words from you, that would be great as well. So, uh, we've still got a few minutes to go, and uh, so, Ivy, over to you, please. I just want to say thank you to everybody tonight, or the afternoon, <laughs> so wherever it is. Um, it's um like uh, Vincent said, it's a great meeting, and I also just want to say thank you for the invite. And um, what can I say after all the great speakers? Everybody has said their heart, the passion. Thank you, um, comfort. That is the direction that we're going into. And then we have Gene. We have everybody just driving the nail down. Now I know most of us will be saying, still, I don't know what to do. Because um, some of us are coming from countries where we have to break it down. Some of us are coming from places, even if you are living in America, it's like it's going over your head. But I like one thing, and the feedback that we've been getting of late is like, thank you for all these things that you're teaching us to enrich our hearts. And there's a very important thing that Comfort said, um, we have to break we, the support that we have to give Ash. Ash, Ash is Ash. But let me tell you something, the season changed. When, um, like Marty said, just reading him, knowing that something was wrong, that was a season, then it changed into success. And I believe that we are part, we were part of that. We also changed. We started supporting him. Our language changed. Everybody go back to listen to one month within the struggle. We became pillars. So let me tell you something. We are part of this thing, bringing it down. The support that we have for him and the love for him is going to bring this thing down. So um, being very, very practical and knowing what to do is also part of the journey. So when I think of the journey to the next phase, I am a doing person who has to see results every week because that's what our CEO is doing. Don't forget, he is our a, a landmark. We are doing everything that he's doing. Every week he comes, he comes with progress. So if we get that mentality that every week we will get something into the big picture, because that's how he's been operating. Every day he comes. Like right now, we see him almost jumping off his chair. Are you jumping off your chair at home? The land the mission statement has been written for us. So all of those who are thinking, oh, I have to go and write my goals and things, we are past that. The mission statement now is let the fun begin. And where does the fun begin? The fun begins with your desire. Your desire is the most powerful thing you have now. The, your desire, what do you desire? Don't let anybody tell you your desire is wrong if you want to live in a pink house. Your desire is God in you speaking to you. The Bible says that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Let your desire be, be nourished. Like it, no matter what it is, big or small. I prefer it to be big. Let us make it big because we have Ash's permission. Everybody, wherever you are, if your desire is to go to, let's say, the United States, if you're living in another country, what do you do? It's fine. The next step, I am a steps person. You're living in, let's say, uh, um, Africa, and you want to go to the United States. The first thing is you choose the, the, the state you want to go to. You narrow it down to United States. The next thing, brothers and sisters, you say it should be California. You narrow it down to the region. It could be Bel Air. You can even narrow it down to the uh, a city. 
you can narrow it down to the Sabbath. Let me tell you something. As soon as you do that, you've anchored your desire and it's going to bring forth what? It's going to resonate in the offices of Ash Mufara because all of us are now focused and we believe. You know when you do that? It means you believe in this thing. Because I believe in this thing, it's going to work. You find, polish your desire. That is what Mari was saying. Your dream. Some people, when we talk about dream, it's too far. Let's bring it down like a piece of bread that you're baking. We are baking this bread. Narrow your desire down. Be specific. And the sp being specific too, don't make it too colorful. Just, just tell yourself, I want to go to California. I'll be living in Bel Air, whether you know somebody there or not. Just don't get complicated. I'm telling you when the time comes, because the greater part has been done for you. The means to get to California is already designed. Now, how are you going to get that means into your bank account or into your purse? It's going to come through the channel of unpassive. Now, when you are fueling your desire from your end, I'm telling you, magic is going to happen in the, our passive offices. Do you see what happened? When there was a problem, turbulence, then we all started changing our language, changing our mind, speaking good things. Mr. Ash came. He was so encouraged with the mind because what it is, we were flowing in his frequency. He's a very positive man. He's a very uh, I can do person. So when we change into that form, Look at it within a short time. He said everything is back. Can you imagine when he came on on Wednesday? It was one of the greatest days for me. He says, Let the fun begin. He was so the talented, the, the caliber, the intelligence, everything he needs within a short span. So, within ourselves, let us hone our desires. Then, another thing I would like to say is. It's, it's coming from something somebody asked. It says, Ivy, and it's a group within on passive in a very, in an Asian country. It says that we women, we are afraid to get this money because what is going to happen in our societies? I said, don't be afraid. I said, we are going to work towards it. And you know why I was excited? It means that all that we've been saying for the past month has landed that um, on passive is real. On passive has come back. They've gone past the stage of asking, is this real? So everybody here on this uh, meeting, including me, we've all moved past whether it's going to work. We're past there. Now we're in a place where it's going to work. We've got our desires together. And the next thing is, say, you live in a community where community and culture is very important. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a culture where um, a woman cannot have 20 million. How are you going to explain it to your family and your husband? I said, okay, we're going to be patient. We're going to teach you wisdom. When we get there, we'll teach you how to get over that bridge. But let me tell you something. When they said it to me collectively, I was excited. I even did a video, 12 points. I said, I'll give you 12 points that you can keep that when this thing you know, it's already happened for them. Brothers and sisters, we should be excited that some people know that, and that is the state we have to be in, that it's already done. That's what Jesus said. It's already done. Do you know if you have faith as a mustard seed, it's already done. And then also check your culture. If your culture says that you, you should not, you should, let's say your culture is uh, has not um, evolved to what we have in the United States or any part of the world, or even, even from, from my country. It's not every person who would have the kind of marriage you have where your husband thinks that if you have a billion dollars is nothing. What matters is you. Some, some people don't know how to handle that. So you're going to be patient. You're going to use wisdom. And then you should not, you should handle it wisely. You shouldn't all of a sudden splurge and just go and buy a Rolls Royce or whatever. You know, we have to honor this process. We have to honor the man who did this for us. So we have to honor the process. We have to, you see what I'm doing today? We have stepped into the fun. We have stepped into it. We have stepped into what has been made possible for us. So I just wanted to say that, um, 
Um, there are other things that uh, uh, we, we can talk about. The, the momentum has already begun. Let us continue this momentum. Let us not fall back into, into, is it going to happen? We are way past that. And then I just want to thank everybody that comes on these meetings. We are not taking you lightly. When I look at all the names here, it means this thing is anchored in your heart. You didn't come here for joke. And it's the same thing that we're saying to you that Ash is not going to fail. He's not going, he's past that. He doesn't even talk about, he, he, he talks about, I think he's past all of that. So it's another mentality, another group of people that we have become. We've evolved into greatness. We've evolved into great things. Come to these meetings. Last week, somebody said to me, says, Ivy, uh, you have great mentors like Marty and all of that. I'm sure you're getting calls. I say, yes, I get calls every day on their lives. My telephone call with Marty, Red, and everybody is 8 o'clock, 8.30 when they're on their lives. Go on the live. You will hear something like you're here today on Heroes. Pass it on to people that we've passed the stage of our journey. It was called a journey. We've passed the stage of where we started. Now we are entering into another phase. Thank you very, very much. And I love you all. You're muted, Peter. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Ivy. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. That was brilliant. Thank you for sharing that. Um, May Ann, do you want to speak? Say a few words before we uh, move on to engineer Mike. Okay. Oh, okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Peter, for calling me in. I'm not really ready for that, but then that's fine. You know, it's so good to know that um we are all in this together. It's such. It's so. I would say very uh, encouraging. And um, we've all said everything, starting from Matty. It's been amazing. It's been just a super, I would say, everything that has been said and I've heard all. It's fabulous. Um, but um, my thanks, as much as it goes to our brother and friend Ash Mufara, just the way I like calling him, because he likes being called that way as well, being referred to that way. I would say um, my biggest thanks, to be honest, goes to the team of um, this particular team, the, the heroes, um, to Marty, to John, um, Chris, Chris, uh, Chris Johnson, to, to Red, to you, Peter, to everybody, comfort, oh my God. My great team, my sorry, my great thanks goes to all of you because without what you are doing on a daily basis, Sincerely, I don't know what would have happened. You guys have really done so marvelously well that it, I, I, it, it's so admirable, to be honest, watching everyone. On most times, I don't even come in, I don't show up, but then I'm always watching, even when I have nothing doing else, you know, or sometimes even in the middle of work. I just put it aside and listen to videos on either YouTube or Facebook or everywhere that uh, on Passive Teams. Uh, um, people are talking I just want to say thank you you guys have done so well thank you very much for the support that, that's great for, thank you for sharing your thoughts uh, thank yeah. you very much everyone that's basically what I want to put in here thank mm -hmm. you Peter thanks for okay, no, asking that's great. me right. thank you. you know thank you for sharing your thoughts and I'm sure there's other people well, I know there's other people who definitely feel the same way as you and, uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of big leaders who are obviously, you know, throwing the path in front of everybody and showing the way. And um, so, you know, I'm like you, I'm grateful for them. Um, so I'm going to go to Engineer Mike and then Gifty, if you want to like to say a few words after Engineer Mike. Uh, so Engineer Mike, if you'd like to open up and say a few words, it'd be great. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Peter. Uh, Good day, everybody. Wow. An awesome conversation going on here today. I'm so thrilled with, uh, thank you for inviting me, brother colleagues. I'm so thrilled with what is going on. Um, I want to start today in a different perspective. I used to start different. Let me go this way. In the book of Philippians, 
2 verse 3, it says from the Bible, do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility, count others more significant than yourself. This is all about Mr. Mufari. This is his character. So when he comes up and tells us that humanitarian help is coming, that gets me so excited. When he comes up and tells me that, hey, I was talking with a group of experts to determine our next phase. It gets me again very excited. When he tells us that we are getting our OES to log in again and go play with those um, products in there, I get more excited. You know why? Because my time is now. You know why my time is now? Because I am using this OES to the highest advantage that I can use it. Where the tech pro yesterday, my colleagues say, and uh, uh, um, Uncle Bob, they said, oh, you know what? If Mr. Mufare says he has a toolbox, like we have this, our, our um, internet marketplace or our internet um, super mall that we have everything in it, our suite, right? And we will be having, if, if it says you get traffic, you buy traffic, you will do this and do that. Mr. Mufare is a guru of traffic generation for years now. So why don't we stay quiet and just pay for him to get the traffic, let him work for us? Can you do marketing? No, we don't know no marketing. This guy is a guru of marketing. He has already started doing it for us. Like we saw it on the 30th of March um, in 2022 on the Bush Khalifa. He did all of that. He went to... to, to, to um, so the World Cup in Qatar, he did, he, he had been doing this at this place for so many. Supercar matched it. What has he not done? Is that something we should be worried about? No. When he comes and tells me this OES is coming again, it, it, it makes me vibrate. My body vibrates because there is economic recession in the whole globally. Okay? And this is the time that we are coming with this new clean okay technology new clean business which will help in every place so my time is coming because this is what i will leverage to enter into every place to teach everybody where i can go to to be able to make it happen in their life changes in their life through our own passive ecosystem now, what do you have to do? I will always ask this question. Are we ready physically, psychologically? Are we ready to receive this OES back? That's my question. So, um, Bracolis and I, we used to tell you, everybody that we used to, um, in our outing, we say, listen, go back and check your, um, the emails, you know, alternative emails. Go now and prepare to check them if you can lock in again to them. Because Bracol is explaining to us, listen, these spaces that this that harbor this um this website that harbor your your login information, your data, they'll be deleted if you go there for so long, you don't go there because it is occupying space. So they need space, they'll delete it and put in people who are ready to, get, to be checking their emails and stuff like that. Please, let's go and check it. And remember, be focused and engaged. We are already there. Thank you. Thank you, Engineer Mike. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Uh, um, Gifty, would you like to say a few words? And then uh, from Gifty, we'll go to Caroline Mackey, if you would like to say a few words after that, and then we'll go around uh all the leaders and, and you know give two minutes to each to finish off okay so gifty over to you 
Hi, everybody. How are you feeling? Yeah. Uh, I want to chip in small and, and say that we have to be grateful and thankful to God and also to Mr. Ash. Because when we sit back and think of what he has went through until today, this man is still standing tall. He has not shaken, even though sometimes you can see things are hard. But because he loves us, he does not keep anything secret from us. He comes out to encourage us. He has pushed us and pushed us and pushed us until where we are today. Brother Colin said something. We were from somewhere to go founders to all founders to all years. Now we are going to the next phase. We have to continue to support and believe in him. Because we have to hold his hands and push him. Because without us, even though he's doing it for us, but if he sees the courage we have and the support we have behind him, it pushes him more to do more for us. So we should continue to support and keep him in our prayers and keep our dear own passive also in our prayers that the next phase will be successful because it is not easy for him to go through all these disappointments. I mean, disappointment upon disappointment, trusting human being, and they are disappointing, but he still loves us and he has not given up on us because his heart is pure gold and he wants to do something for humankind. If it were to be a selfish person, by now I think he would have given up. But because of the heart that this man carries, that is why we are still moving forward. So I will encourage each and every one to continue to have faith in Mr. Ash and continue to support him, keep him, him in our prayers each and every day because all passive is here to stay. It is not going anywhere. This business, if I mean, it is not here to stay. The way, I, I mean, things went, we, we wouldn't be here today. But because God's hand is upon on passive and he's still holding it, that is why on passive is still standing. And we are not moving and we are not shaking because he has given us a strong man, a strong captain, who do not, I mean, shake in everything. He said, all passive is a done deal. And this word has been ringing in my ears, in my heart, each and every day, because through it all, through the storm and everything, all passive is still a done deal. A done deal. And we are in it to win it, because all passive is here to help humankind. On passive is built with a heart. That is why we are all in. Because on passive has pulled us together. We are a family now. We are supporting each and every one, and we are learning each and every day. Each and every day we meet, we learn from each and every one. That is why we are we are a family. And this is what Mr. Ash Mofa has done to us. We are not thinking about money but we are thinking about humankind and our family members and our loved ones because of our passive, we are now family and we love ourselves to death because even yes, last three days, uh, a news broke out about uh, one of our brothers and it's like, I felt so, so, so bad. Why? Because our passive has brought us together. And I mean, we feel each and everyone's pains. We feel it in everyone's heart. That is why we are family. Let us continue to join our hands together, our hearts together, to support our dear CEO, Mr. Ashbopa, because God has chosen him for us in this end time to lead us to our promised land. Let us continue to pray and support him. Thank you and love you all. <laughs> Thank you, dear friend. Thank you. So, uh, well, <clears throat> well done. Uh, Caroline, would you like to say a few words and then we'll go around? Yes, I'll say say a few words. Um, 
I think that Gifty, you're exactly right. Um, we we are in this because God has chosen us to be here. Um, I cannot imagine how or what Ash Mafara has gone through. I know that he is being attacked by Satan because Satan doesn't want us to get to where we want us to, where God wants us to be, or where Ash wants us to be. This is spiritual warfare that we're dealing with. Um, I personally have gone through a lot of spiritual warfare myself. And uh, I'm sure that a lot of y'all, you have too, a, a lot of the Unpassivian founders. Um, so I'm going to just tell you a little bit about what's happened to me, um, only as an encouragement. I'm not complaining at all because this is in, anything that happens to us, you know, God has to say it's okay for it to happen. But uh, for example, I've had personal attacks um, on my health. I had breast cancer uh, this past year. I had two operations. My husband had um, quadruple open heart bypass, um, but now we're doing fine. And now we've gotten our health is back and everything's on on track. Um, our health's been restored, and we're really better than where we than where we were before. Um, our business has been attacked. Our finances have been attacked. Well, even been attacked by family members. Like even while on this webinar, my da daughter called and wanted to see if I could watch the grandbaby. And of course, I sure was not going to tell her I was on an own passive webinar because I would have gotten an earful. But you know, we are being attacked by our family members. Um, but as far as the other attacks, I mean, I've gotten to a point where we've had to let some of our employees go. And but you know what? Uh, I know that God has chosen us to be here. I know that God has chosen Ash Mafara to take us to be the vehicle to where he wants us to go. And I know that our dreams are going to come true at some point in time. Um, but you know what? Um, I'm ready, ready for all of this to happen. And in God's timing, it is going to happen. Not my timing, not your timing, but in God's timing. Um, and when that happens, Ash Mafara will let us know. So number one, I have faith in God that he's going to take us to where he wants us to be. And I know it's a done deal. And secondly, I've got faith in Ash Mafara. Um, so anyway, I, I can look at all of the things that have happened to me and my husband in the past couple of years that we've been in El Passive about the, uh, the health crisis, the financial crisis, the business crisis and all this. But you know what? All that's doing is building a testimony so that when, when things do come in and we can show the fire that we have gone through and what has happened and how we have stuck with on passive and how God has led Ash Mafara, who has led us to where we need to be so that we can uplift humanity. That's what I'm building right now is a, is a testimony as to, as to what has happened to me and my family over the last couple of years. And, you know, at that, at that point in time, you know, my children's eyes will be open. There'll be a lot of people's eyes that, that will be open people that we have um, presented on passive to that didn't want to get in. And, you know, I'm not going to say anything to them, but they're going to see, they're going to be able to see, they're going to be able to see uh, how successful we are. Um, you know, not necessarily that we're going to be in a new house, but we probably will be. But anyway, when that happens, it's going to happen. So uh, I really do appreciate all the leaders uh, who have all these webinars because it's this connection that causes us to come together. I get I get nuggets every time I come into a webinar to hear other people talk, whether it's Gina Leva, Ivy Mix, uh, Oliver Fonte, uh, Gifty, any of y'all, um, Andy Burks. Every time I listen to y'all, I mean, I'm picking up something that is encouraging me and giving me um, a lift to know that the, the time is soon and in God's timing it's going to happen. So I love you all and thank you all for everything that y'all do. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you. That's, uh, you know, fighting the fight. Um, you know, some of us are going through similar situations to yourself, as you probably know, um, but we have to carry on and be positive and move forward. But uh, thanks for sharing. That was great. Thank you. Um, anyway, we're going to sort of round up quickly, um, give a couple of minutes or minutes <laughs> to everybody to say a few words. I'm going to start off with Marty DeGarmo, and uh, then we'll go over to Gina. And uh, so, Marty, would you like to say a few words for closing? Yeah, why not? Uh, very good. Uh, 
I was inspired. My batteries were charged. Listen to everybody. Um, the good news is when I first came around uh, Bureau's webinars, you know, you a couple hundred people would hear and listen. And I thought, I think more and more people need to listen. Not only listen, I think more and more people need to come in and say what they have to say. And from back then to now, 12,000 people watched us last week. That's quite a jump. And I just want people to hear the truth, that's all. And I want to hear, I want to hear people who speak from the heart. Uh, a good speaker has nothing to do with what college you went to. It's what you can speak from your heart. And that's powerful. We saw that today. Today we had over 600. And by the time the week goes by, we'll probably be at 15,000 people. And it's because the news is spreading. And I want to say something. I said it in many meetings this week. I don't know what week is what week. I'm never really sure what the date is until I look at my... But the point is, all that Ash did, I feel it's an obligation to me to share this with as many people as I can. So when we go to phase two and the world gets to find out who we really are, uh, besides the people going to come in and beg you to come in that told you you were crazy or nuts, like Caroline's going through, and I mean, it's, it's for a lot of you, um, the tide's going to change. And there's a, millions and millions and millions of people that need to feel like all of us does right now. This is priceless. And if we could deliver that to people, Ash is doing 98%. I think we can do two. And our two will change the world. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. That was great. Thank you for sharing. And uh, Gina, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Peter. Uh, yeah, just, oh my gosh, thank you all so much can you feel i'm very sensitive to energy and i just feel like i just took a warm bath and had a cup of tea with her i mean i just i don't know if anybody can else can feel it like i feel it but this is our power this is what's going to change the world is when we as caroline said when we come together and have these meetings however we do it in person or online if we can continue in some way to keep this connection going, we will be a force to be reckoned with and we'll be the ones that can change anything that needs to be changed in the world with Ash's guidance, with the unpassive and any other phases that come in the future. We, we just don't know. But if we stay connected, we keep this energy going, this, oh my gosh, it's just like a waft of love and, and peace and strength and it just feels wonderful if we can keep this going and keep that fire burning we are unstoppable thank you so much peter thank you all thank, thank you me. comfort thank you, thank you for sharing uh mr burks would you like to say a few words nope <laughs> <laughs> since when have you known me not to want to say anything peter yeah oh. um I'm going to just quickly refer back to um, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. We've got this perfect opportunity to learn as much as we possibly can. There are hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of videos out there with with information about the business about how it works learn a little bit more about marketing prepare your lists of people that you're going to contact if that's what you want to do you've got this time to to build and design your your future life because if you plan it properly you can achieve that with what we've got coming um, because, uh, as I said, the beauty of this business for me is it's going to do the bits for me that I don't know how to do yet. Um, but I don't know the entire picture of of what else I'd need to learn. That's going to come over time. So there, on passive is going to fill in those bits for me that I don't know about. 
fantastic so plan now if you if you um like me are a planner uh, and you've got people that you know write them down make a note of them because believe me every single person that you know that has a connection to the internet will want what we have thanks peter thanks for sharing and then you're absolutely right there okay uh comfort would you like to say a few words yeah, sure. Really mm -hmm. quick. Thank you, Pete. Thank you so much. So a couple of weeks ago, I think I think last week, uh, somebody made a statement which I quite resonated with. He says in other business platforms he has met before on Passive, you find people who belong on that platform fighting each other because there is a ladder to climb that if you don't mm -hmm. climb those steps, you don't make money. However, his words or a paraphrase in unpassive, you see people com coming together, helping each other. And I was just uh, so much uh, great delivery today that how when Caroline was sharing, I was just like health issues, family issues are very highly sensitive stuff that people don't just share like that. But how safe we feel with one another. The family, the bonding has gone way so deep and tight. We can, nobody can break it. That's unpassive for us. And don't be afraid to share any other thing. If you're struggling to understand one or two things about unpassive, ask. And somebody will guide you. Somebody will help you. We, we are, somebody's always there for the other one. So success is guaranteed. I don't know about you, but me, I am ready for the greatest shape of my life. Thank you. Thank you, Comfort. That's great, thanks. Uh, Collins, would you like to finish off and say a few words? Uh, thank you, Peter. Um, my last one will be, it's about belief, trust, you know, belief and trust in the vision of Mr. Ash Mufara. You know, because even, sorry, I'm always saying this, I would like to quote the scripture of God, that is me. You know, even the Bible said, if you believe, you know, you have the faith, like a monster seed, tiny seed, you know, you can tell a mountain, move here. The mountain will move. Go here, the mountain will go. Just that little belief. And that is what human beings always lack. The belief and the patience to wait. I waited patiently for the Lord and he answered my prayers. God will answer our prayer only, you know, in his own time, not our own time. You know, people can believe it. Yes, if you don't believe it, fine. But thank God that we have a CEO who also believe in God. And I always look at him. He doesn't rely on his own strength. Because in his own weakness, that is when God is strong. In Ash Mofara's weakness, God is strong. And if we are here today, because it means there is a power that brings us together and binds us in this wonderful business called Unpassive. You know, and only God will see us through. So the only thing we need to do is to believe. I went back and I looked at the history. Who would have ever imagined about that they would discover light? Maybe those people in how many hundred years, if you tell them there will be light, somebody will create light, they will tell you it is not possible because they use their own human understanding. But I want to go back to the great philosopher, one of the greatest scientists who discovered hydrocarbon because I studied chemistry. He was dream and these people, they were all believers. They believe in God. They saw monkey in his dream, holding their hand, spinning. And that is how the discovery of hydrocarbon as spring came about. Go and look at it. Those who study chemistry, it is true. So they believe in power that be to propel them. They never rely on their own understanding. And when I watched the first time they put the Apollo on the moon, the first time human beings set foot on the moon, when they land back, look at the prayer of the president of America then. He said, God, the creator of the universe, has brought them land safely. He give glory to God, not glory to men. Go and look at it. It's there. But when we start to divert and start to listen to our own understanding, that's when we missed it. We must know there is something bigger than us. Unpassive is bigger than us. You know, it is something Mr. Ashbrad told us before. He said, I look at it, I never ever see it growing that way. And we have to change a lot of things. 
he doesn't rely in his own understanding. Sometimes you can go A and God make it massively, you know, take you to a, another level that you will not even understand. But we are all in need. The only thing we need to do is to continue to pray and be patient because we know the time will come where we will celebrate. Some people will be crying that I waited patiently and God have answered our prayer through on passing. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Collins. Uh, okay, so uh, that was great. We've. Uh, I just want to really thank everybody for attending, obviously, the Heroes webinar. We've had some great speakers. Um, obviously, some of the stuff that's obviously been mentioned from the beginning of On Passive all the way through to where we are going, the OES. You know, it's, everything's been covered in this in this webinar. Um, you know, it's been a privilege to host the webinar. Thank you very much for letting me host. And um, uh, we'll finish there. And uh, we will see you again next next week. There's obviously other webinars going on in the next few days. Um, look out for those. But uh, thank you. And we'll see you again at a later date. Bye, thank everyone. You, everyone. Thank Bye, you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. you. Nice soon. week, everybody. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.